Everybody, I just want to make one last plain said video. I swear this is the last plain said video. Um, I know a lot of you are waiting for this uh, to arrive in the mail. And um, as I said before, my, my resin foundry was, was really busy around Christmas time. And then what I did is I got a critique from my teacher, from my mentor, Cedric Egley. And you always have to be careful when you get a critique from Cedric because he'll always tell you the truth. You know, he'll always um, give it to you straight. So uh, I've never regretted asking for advice from him. But, you know, you got to be careful because he might send you down a road that you didn't think you'd be going down. Um, which, that's how, you, that's how you find the truth. You know, you end up uh, going down, down a path uh, to find it. So, uh, anyway, I, I thought I'd just give you a little taste of what, what he told me. And, um, you know, on this side, this is my form side, I'm calling it. And here I'm really thinking about the elevations of the face in an organic way. Um, and, you know, when I teach the mouth, I always, I always teach this, this little form here called the node. And you'll see that in a lot of art books. And I always teach the cheek form. Um, but what I left out was this, this little teardrop shaped form, which, which I really find um, to be on most people in some way, there's some kind of form there, especially as we get older, you know, there's going to be a, at least a trio of, of forms there. So, so Cedric was saying, hey, you know, you can't just have that and that, you have to have that part of the gel too. So I've added that in, um, I never really had a name for it because I never taught it, um, but I sculpt it when I do a portrait. So I'm going to call it the dimple, dimple maker. This is the dimple maker because you know, it's right between the, the node and the cheek, and oftentimes you get a dimple there. You might get a dimple behind the cheek or between the node and the dimple maker, but, you know, I've added that one more thing, and um, Cedric also went into the eye socket with me a little bit. You know, the eye socket just seems to be one of those, like, mysteries of the universe, um, the, way the, the way the forms spiral and dovetail together, they interlock. So hopefully my explanation here will be um, helpful and fruitful uh, for all you artists in the studio, not just sculptors, but painters too. So as you know, I started as a painter and, and this side of the head um, is more for the painters. I mean, it's, it's for everybody, but here I'm really trying to think like a painter and do, do the planes. And, um, you know, Cedric said, keep it simple over here. Um, I didn't listen to him 100%. I got a little bit into the, into the smaller forms, but um, hopefully it's helpful. I'm gonna call this the advanced planes head because I do get into the secondary planes. You can see there's a lot of angles in here, um, but that's what this side is. It, it's, it's the more geometric um, planar side of, the, of thinking. Okay, so, so I just want to give you a brief update, and um, you know, uh, this is the third plane set I'm casting. I've done dozens of these from my classes. If you like this kind of content, you can check out my uh, Patreon page, and I have a lot of videos on, on the planes of the head and the uh, organic forms of the face and body. Um, and. Uh, you know, I'll put a link below if you want to order one of these. For those of you who ordered a long time ago and are waiting, you know, thanks again for your patience and your support. Um, you know, you're really what keeps keeps the lights on and uh, keep me going. Uh, you know, for me, it's not just um, doing the commissions and the, the gallery pieces. It's also, um, you know, the teaching and spreading a message and making sure that this, this information gets to the next generation. Um, because really that's, that's, that's what it's all about for me is um, sharing the message and uh, making sure that we all get better, right? Um, because selfishly, I mean, I don't wanna look at bad sculpture and paintings, but um, I think ultimately art, 
you know, whether it's music or, or writing songs or, um, you know, poetry or architecture, it's, it's about making those discoveries and, um, you know, sharing that with the world. It's, it's about what the artist goes through. So anyway, making these plain sets is probably one of the hardest things I have to do because it's not a portrait really, it's, it's a blueprint. Um, it's a universal blueprint that uh, is uh, very defined. So it's all the things that I think are important that my teachers thought were important and that their teachers thought were important and I'm trying to pass that torch um, through this, this diagram or blueprint. Okay, so uh, thanks again for your support and um, I'm gonna get this out soon. I think in the next couple of weeks he's gonna be done. All right, thanks.